character of a nation is often measured by how much each person cares for a fellow citizen. If you see someone in distress, reaching out for help, do you step out of your comfort zone or would you do nothing? That's the question we try and answer in this series. What's your choice? How much do we the people of India really care? Every day, every minute, someone somewhere across our country faces injustice, discrimination, bullying, molestation, or is even the target of violence, often in full public view. We've heard of many cases in which an accident victim, for example, bleeding, lying on the side of the road, reaches out, but nobody stops. Or a story of when a woman is being teased or molested, even in a crowded area, Nobody intervenes to save the girl. But bad news like these examples tend to hit the headlines. While good news, like when an ordinary Indian does make a choice to intervene, tends to go unreported. So what's the truth about India? Do we turn away and do nothing? Or do we step in and fight for justice? The aim of this series of programs is simply to find out, does India care? And if so, who cares? And in the final analysis, we will have succeeded if at the end of each show, each one of us asks of ourselves, do I care? Would I intervene? Now in our first test case, we look at the horrible but so common discrimination against the girl child. We focus on the widespread problem of parents preferring sons to daughters. So we carried out a nationwide survey and the results in big cities of India like Delhi say that the bias against the girl child is widespread. 33% said bias against the girl child is very common, 40% say it is common, while only 27% say it's not really common at all. So together 73 say bias against the girl is common. That's a large percentage. So what would you do if you saw for yourself a girl child being treated unfairly by her parents? We test the reactions of people in Delhi when they see a father who clearly favors his son to his daughter. We set up our hidden cameras at a very popular restaurant, the Delhi Heights, here at the DLF Promenade in New Delhi. None of the other customers are aware that this father and his two children are actually our actors. And the waiter is an actor too. Menu. I also want menu. Just wait, let your brother order first. The table next to our actors starts filling up. A group of women starts settling in for a happy, carefree lunch with old friends. Gulotti kebab. Gulotti kebab. Cold drink, cold drink. Cold drink, cold drink, cold drink. Cold drink, we can sell it here. Fanta. 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 I also like. Shut up. What I also, I also. And your brother is ordering, why do you want to order also? The women seem to listen for a few minutes. Some clearly seem a little worried or disturbed, but quickly turn back to their lovely lunch party. You don't need cold drink, cold drink. You drink water. Now the women begin to look a little more disturbed and exchange glances with each other, but they still don't intervene. And a few tables away, a bunch of young girls are clearly also beginning to get worried. I was sad the day you were born. In other parts, when the girl is born, they call it mistake. Sir, I understand you. Your daughter is your daughter, you understand? Yes. The girl child is a curse. The 
customers now clearly seem to be getting agitated. But will they actually do something or will they carry on with their lunch? One woman actually calls the waiter, our actor, and complains. You can sense the anger rising, but still nobody intervenes. What may I also? Are he's having? You don't need. You will become fat. It's still not clear if this father will get away with his discrimination against his little daughter. Papa and chocolate cake. Yeah. Chocolate. Nearly an hour passes and nobody steps in actually to stop the father. Finally, the women in the next table are very upset and angry, and they get up and tell our father that he should treat the girl child equally. We have to collect, madam. We have to collect money to pay for the child the dowry. The boy will bring money to the house. He will bring money to the house. She is taking money from the house. Madam, it is happening today. Before we can talk, also they want money. But you are collecting. You must be collecting money for the daughter. You are a very sad person. You know you should actually. You are not collecting. We are feeling sorry for you. No, but you are not collecting money for the daughter. How will you pay for the dowry without the money, madam? But I am married. She is not. She is just a child. When, madam, you do not understand. When she gets married, I will need money. India is like that. As things are getting a little out of hand, we decide it's time to reveal our cameras and tell everyone that this is a TV show and these are actors. An hour or more later, when most of the customers have changed, we set up our actors once again. Singapore. Noodles. Noodles. Singapore. Shut up. This time, it only takes about 10 minutes. A table of young girls across the restaurant are horrified and very angry. Madam, you don't know. We are parents, we know. We are having to raise money for dowry, you are not. She will take money out of my family, he will bring money into my family. It is, it is a reality, it is a reality of, of the world, reality of India. It is not belief, madam, it is what is happening. I cannot, it is a truth. She is happy with her father. In fact, they are so angry, they walk out of the restaurant. But so far, only the women customers have intervened. It's not clear what this man in the next table feels. We have, we have a mom. Understand that? But I, I have a girl, girl child. child. Our mom was a girl at one point of time. If I have a girl child, I'll be the luckiest man alive. So please, let's not have this. Condition. You will have to pay for her. Then how will you do? I'll, I'll sell off everything. I'll sell off my kitchen and I'll pay for her. You please don't create a scene. We are not. We are. I am just telling her not. He is ordering. That's he is the boy. He is ordering the first. 
Why she wants? She has all the right to. She cannot cook. She can. <laughs> That's why we are here. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you can't. You can't. But firstly, you should not create a scene. It, it I am not part. saying anything. He is getting up to talk to me. I am no, telling her to be quiet. It was you who shouted at the. Of course, it is my child. You look a sensible. You look like a well-read man. I am. I don't. I don't expect you. to shout at your girl child like this she yeah. understands you understand me she, she understands yeah, she, she should you, understand you think she understands look at her expression this is our really culture is like this so it took a little time but it is heartwarming to see how ordinary people will not let a father get away with discrimination against his girl child they not only get angry but it's clear that people do step in and do something but perhaps that's what happens in a big city like delhi It's not clear if people in small town India will have the same reaction. Discrimination against the girl child is said to be more widespread in tier 2 and tier 3 towns. In fact, in our nationwide survey, the results for smaller towns shows the problem is serious. 60% say the bias against daughters is common, while 40% feel it's not so common. That's only slightly different from the survey of the big cities. so it's still a major problem so we carried out this same social experiment of discrimination against a girl child in meerut to see if people here step in and do something or not when they see a girl child being treated unfairly we set up our hidden cameras at a busy cross street in the center of meerut actors a mother and her son and daughter queue up at this popular chaat shop the scene of our social experiment kya khayega beta pani bata ha pani bata ke main bhi khaungi chup reh ab dekho tab saath saath lagi reh ab jo ghar chhod ke aayi thi fir aa gayi piche piche acha lag raha hai badhiya lag raha hai hum main bhi khaungi main hatte de de tu se chain se nikhad ho jata jab wo kha lega to salli se kha le de fir kha liye It doesn't take long before other customers look disturbed but not enough to intervene. Jaisa ghar mein hi raha jata tha to maine ye kaha tha ki main le aaungi pack kara ke la dungi tere liye kuch khane ko par saath hi chalegi har jagah hai na ye bhi to jata hai to ye jata hi ladka hai tu ladki hai is baat ka koi antar nahi hai ye ladkon ka couple seems increasingly uncomfortable they exchange glances but carry on with their chat other customers too are clearly disturbed ice ice cream khilaungi fir iske baad mein mujhe main bhi ice cream khaungi main aapki tarah kaan pe maarne wali hu aur ko bhi dekh le kisi aur ke sath dikh rahi hai koi ladki sab ladke hi ja rahe hai na finally it's too much but the intervention uses a gentle approach kaun se school mein jata hai aunty hai kaun se school mein jata hai aap taps mein hai ranganagar rehte hain hum log taps mein hai acha आपका बेटा कौन सी क्लास पढ़ता है बेटा बेटी में तो फिर भी कुछ तो अंतर होता ही है आज के वक्त में नहीं होता है नहीं हम तो ऐसे तो नहीं है कि नहीं होता है आप भी तो बेटे को साथ लिए हुए हैं हाँ तो आपने बेटी बताइए आपने बेटी पैदा ही नहीं की इतना बड़ा बच्चा हो रहा है एक बेटी भी कर लेनी चाहिए हाँ हमारे तो ओकेजनली पैदा हो गई सिर पर चढ़ी जाती है हाँ भाई बहन है दोनों बस ये दोनों बच्चे हैं हमारे क्यों अब तुम लड़के हो तुम यहाँ आजादी से खा रहे हो खड़े हो लड़की कहाँ खड़ी है बताओ कहाँ पे खड़ी है लड़कियाँ बहन किस लिए होती है बहन होती है साथ लेके आते फिर आप लोगों के चक्कर में लड़की 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 शादी के बाद ऐसा कुछ नहीं रहती है लड़का ऐसा आज के डेट में सब लड़के हैं सब शादी सोच के कारण ऐसे करोगे तो यही बदलेगा वो तो ऐसा कुछ आंटी ये तरक्की करेंगे आज के डेट में सोच है मान लो कल हम मर जाए तो ये देगी हमको आज क्यों नहीं देगी आंटी अब तो बढ़ाओ तो सही फिर भी जब लड़की पैदा होती है बोझ ही होता है अगर आप बहुत समझोगे तो मैं तो बहुत ही मैं तो कुछ चाहता मेरी बेटी में जब बेटी हो जाएगी तब नहीं कहने के हो 
तब नहीं कहोगे तब कहोगे जी गलती हो गई मैं मैं तो चाहती हाँ। बेटी अडॉप्ट करना एंड देन इट्स टाइम टू रिवील आर कैमरास जैसा आंटी ट्रीट कर रही थी मुझे तो बहुत ही बुरा लग रहा था नो no डाउट मुझे लग रहा था मैंने कहा मैं अभी पता नहीं क्या कर दूँ लिटरली आई वॉज फीलिंग वेरी बैड फॉर हर आज का ये टाइम नहीं है कि लड़का ये लड़का वो कि लड़के को ये कर लड़कियाँ लड़कियाँ होती हैं लेकिन वो हमेशा अपने माँ बाप का करती हैं माँ बाप के दूसरे के घर जाके लड़के नहीं करते तो भी भी लगा कि हम रोक नहीं पाए अपने आप को कि हमें कुछ बोलना जरूरी है कम से कम शायद उनको कुछ फर्क लगे और कम से कम चार लोग टोकेंगे तो शायद कल इंसान बदलेगा भी अपने आप For the next scene, our actors had hidden cameras wait till later in the evening. झाड़ू तो लगाती हूँ. A young girl is listening and is clearly upset. The young girl speaks to her mother. Both are shocked. The mother and daughter have had enough. They can't take any more, but walk away. Then, about ten minutes later, the daughter and mother come back. मार रहा है। ऐसे कोई फांसी लगा दी तुझे? क्या मार दिया? हैं? खा ले बेटा। तो बेटा बेटा बेटी हो जाएगा बेटी जो बेटा हो जाएगी बेटी तो बेटी रहेगी ना नहीं एक ही बात हो क्यों बेटा और मेटी एक ही बात कैसे रहेगी ना आप उसको खाना खिला रहे हो भाई का बच्चा है वो तू खा ले तो आप क्या हमेशा से होता है हमेशा से होता है डर नहीं होता हमेशा से आप क्या बात कर दिया आपने कौन सा जमाने में रह रहे हो आप लोगों एक मिनट लोगों एक मिनट में हम लोगों ने देख लिया कुछ तरह के व्यवहार करते हैं ना गंदा व्यवहार क्यों क्या गंदा व्यवहार करते हैं मैं यहाँ से चली गई थी मैं इसीलिए वापस आई आपको ये बोलने के लिए कि ये क्या होता है भाई का खाना बच्चा है क्या खाली हो क्या डर तक इन लोगों के देख लिया आप ये बोल रहे हो उसको तो देख रही है ना बच्चे को लग भी नहीं रही देखो आप खा भी नहीं रहा वो आपने इसको मारा तो आपने इसको बोला कि तुम्हें गाला उसको फांसी तो मार दी वो नहीं दिख रहा वो नहीं खा रहा मतलब बेटी नहीं खा रही वो नहीं दिख रहा तो खा लेगी ना ये बच्चे का तो खा लेगी पहले बेटी को देना चाहिए ना ये तो बेटियां तो हमेशा से बाद में खाती आई हैं बिल्कुल खाली खाती हैं औरत के नाम पे आप तो बहुत ज़्यादा कलंक हो समझे ना कलंक हो आप औरत मारिए शर्म आने चाहिए सुनिए ऐसे कोई कुत्ते को भी नहीं पालता जैसे हम अपनी बेटी को पाल रहे हैं कमाल है भाई हम पर्दे में रहते हैं पर्दे में रहने के बाद भी लड़कियां एक से एक काम कर रही हैं नेट पे देखो तुम तो बिल्कुल ही हद कर रही हो कौन से जमाने में जी रही हो आप भाई मैं तो ये नहीं मानती मैं तो मानती हूँ मेरा बेटा है मेरा भविष्य है कल मेरा करेगा बुढ़ापे में तो इसको मना थोड़ी कर रही हूँ खाने के लिए अब ये खा नहीं रहा ये ही खाएगी अब अब कौन खाएगी बचा हुआ हाँ बचा हुआ तो हम कुत्ते को डाल देंगे वी डिसाइड इट्स टाइम टू रिवील आर कैमरास मैं नहीं खाती कैमरास हाँ मुझे मतलब वाकई में मेरी बेटी तो आगे चलके रोने लगी कहती है आंसू आ गए उसकी आंख में कहती है मम्मी मेरे से बर्दाश्त नहीं हो रहा मतलब वो गोलगप्पे खाने आई थी वो छोड़ के चली गई कहती है मम्मी मेरे से खाया नहीं जा रहा ये लेडी आंटी कह कितने गंदे तरीके से बेव कर रही हैं तो मतलब मुझे बर्दाश्त नहीं हो रहा था मैंने इनको बोला मैंने कहा इससे अच्छा आप जहर दे दो इनको बेटी को आप इस तरह से मत करो फिर इसके साथ इतना गंदा बर्ताव कर रहे हो ऐसा तो कोई जानवरों के साथ भी नहीं करता <laughs> इनका बेटी के साथ ऐसे करते हैं कहती खा लेगी वो बचा हुआ इनका बचा हुआ कुत्तों को डालते हैं आजकल तो नहीं होता बेटा बेटी बराबर होते हैं लेकिन बेटी किस्मत वालों को मिलती है तो इसीलिए बेटी को पहले ज़्यादा पूछना चाहिए और इन्होंने कहा ना कि मरने के बाद आग बेटा ही देगा पर ऐसा नहीं होता कई बार ऐसा होता है बेटी विदेश में से आती नहीं है और बेटे ही सब कुछ करती हैं माँ बुलाती है तो बेटा बाद में आता है बेटी पहले आती है मैंने कभी नहीं देखा ऐसा होते हुए फर्स्ट बार देखा इसलिए मुझे गुस्सा आया मैं बोली इसलिए From just these experiments in Meerut alone, it's clearly false to think that people of smaller towns care less. In fact, they seem to be as, if not more aware and more angry than in bigger cities. Now, the actor parent in that social experiment is Atul Sharma. She also heads an organization called Sankalp, which fights for social justice. One of the programs she runs is called Whistleblowers. In which she, along with her team, encourages people to literally blow whistles if they sense any misconduct around them. So that's the reality. It's just not true that all of us in India don't care. 
and that we turn away when we see injustice right in front of our eyes. Our real life experiments show that India cares and cares enough to step in and do something. But would we act in the same way in other situations as well? Like for example, when we see a woman being molested or teased in a bus, or when VIPs throw their weight around. In the weeks to come, we will test each of these and other questions with real life situations. Do send in your views and your comments to ndtv.com slash what's your choice or ndtv.com slash WYC. And please, upload any videos, any evidence that you also discover. So do join us every week to discover the truth about India and find out if we as a nation really care. Thanks for watching.